I've got a thrift haul to show you. Hello, my friends. It's Rachel. I'm here with... <laughs> I almost said Thirsty Thursday. <laughs> um, Thrifty Thursday. Hashtag Thrifty Thursday. I don't know who started this Thrifty Thursday thing. I always kind of forget about it. <laughs> so we went to Goodwill and stopped it. Let me get this stuff out of the bag. So we went to Goodwill, and then another thrift store that's not Goodwill or Volunteers of America. I guess it's just like a, you know, standalone kind of thrift store. And I found some even more, even more goodies there. So let's take a look. I <laughs> am not a huge Dr. Seuss fan. These Dr. Seuss books, I do kind of want to do these into journals because I think these are some of the popular ones right I kind of remember remember this one a little bit so or the green eggs and ham so I think eventually I will do some journals with these <laughs> oh my gosh okay and then I got this Boston book um the I really love these comparison pictures for one. I mean, it's just so cool. But I definitely want to <laughs> cut out the vintage um, pictures and use. Even though they're glossy, that's okay. That one is really neat. It's Masonic Temple. But, oh, look at that. Very neat. Um... Yeah, I just really like vintage building pictures. I just find them fascinating. So I'll definitely be going through this first. And then um, look at the boat. Mm, Boston's Long Wharf, the oldest in the city. Seen here circa 1865. I think this is uh, pretty neat. Like I said, <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I will be definitely, um, you know, the cover is kind of gross, but definitely cutting pictures out of that once we get through it. And then, um, I got this, I'm just going to rip it open. I got this bag of little card games. So, Old Maid. I don't think I've ever played Old Maid. These are so stinking cute. These really don't like like look. These really don't look like they've been used. Um, so there's the Old Maid. If you have the Old Maid at the end, you lose, I guess. Um, but like I've said before, we've talked about it. I'm sure you've seen using um, flashcards and stuff like this tucked into pockets looks really cute it's fun you can make stuff out of them like we're doing the deck of cards collab you can decorate them look at the animals oh the tiger's so cute this is a memory game that's what if you're working on journals i know there's like a lot of thing about you know getting vintage stuff and always using vintage stuff i like seeing a mix of vintage and new stuff and sometimes it's just hard to find vintage stuff like you know we had the the garage sale thing going on through here and I got really really lucky finding some stuff but there's not a lot of estate sale stuff around here local and then a lot of it's when I'm working so I think uh, oh the moth is so cute these are cute I think including both new and old or making something like this look older too you could do that uh, but don't feel like you have to use you know everything um i love the fish i can't help it i oh really want to do a fish themed journal um i don't know why i just i love fish but yeah, so you could make these look 
look vintage you could do like a um, used tea bag glued to them something like that would be kind of cool I've been trying to um, normally I don't like using printables because my printer kind of sucks but I think using printables really kind of opens some doors to if you want to do certain theme things so this is all the stuff I got from the other thrift shop um, this says sing and dance primitives by Kathy 10 yards cotton ribbon this is so pretty 49 cents I thought their prices were a little bit better than Goodwill for some things. Right, let me just get the rest of everything out. Okay. Ugh. They had a huge box of these folders. And I they're like presentation type. So they're kind of, you know, kind of nice. So I kind of want to see what what we can maybe make with these. Or maybe even just decorate. I'm not sure. Look at this. Look at these stinking clothes pins. I've been wanting to order some clothes pins like this to do like ribbons and lace and wrap around these for storage because keeping everything on the spool for, I don't have one handy, takes up so much room. And I started pulling some of them off and like wrapping them around itself and it was, it's such a mess. I didn't like it, so I stopped, and it, I have a lot of shorter length lace that I got, like, remnant bags from, but, I mean, I just, like, this, this isn't too bad. This is dirty, too. <laughs> this is dirty, too. I didn't smell it, so I don't know what it's like, um, but I've been wanting to kind of order these, and I'm like, why are those so expensive? So, I got a giant bag of them for two, two. $2.99. Really excited about that. Okay. I'm very excited to look at these. I know they're taped somewhere. Let's see if I can just pull it off without... Ugh. Ah. Oh my goodness. Look at these cards. Smoothest handling, wash with cold water, and a soapy cloth. Do not immerse. Um, I don't know year-wise how old these are or anything like that, but they are vintage -y. They're so cool. Pietnik? I'm, I'm probably not saying that correctly. Um, Tartan. Playing cards, plastic treaty, McPherson. I'm just kind of reading from the box. Yeah, these are, oh man, those are so cool. Yeah, it doesn't say when these are from or whatever. I have to maybe try to do um, some research about these. Oh, they're so neat. Look at the horse on the ace. Or oh, just on the ace of hearts. Huh. Oh, these are neat. These are so neat. I've been seeing people sell, like, like sets of, like, four or five cards in their Etsy's. Um, I just don't find them often enough to, to do that. But I'm also, I also know I'm not going to use all those either. Okay. I found two bags of buttons. Um, this one looks like there's stuff cut off from clothes. There's a freaking pin in there sticking out of the bag. Um, so I really don't want to open these right now. I found some like a, when we were in Amish country. Um, a jar of them. And they're so, man, do they, they're expensive. 99 cents for this. This looks like um, some linen. I thought this would be pretty to stamp on. I'm not sure how big it is. I don't want to open it right now. But let's dive into this bag of buttons. So $1.99. I saw... I love that they're still on their card. Some of them are. It's 
so originally 25 cents they're so pretty pearl one I saw this kitty Tom kitten come and button up Tom oh it's so cute let's see some reds these looks like they were cut off of something some extra buttons. Blue Cabana. These are neat. Let's see. Yeah, these are really pretty. Oh, I love these big ones. These would be cute on a jacket. Ooh, those are interesting. <laughs> I don't know if they're supposed to have something in the middle of them, but there's nothing there now. Absolutely tiny little clearish white ones. Oh, these are neat. Oh, they have got them stapled together. So two bigger ones and then a, a smaller one of the same. That one is pretty. Ooh. Big. Big ones. These look like dark brown. And I love that one. I love this card that this one is on too. Isn't that pretty? Special value button. Really cool. Love getting buttons. I, I just love these big ones. <laughs> I can't help it. I love big buttons. Yeah, so I'll have to be careful getting opening this up. Yeah, because a lot of them look like they... Maybe not a lot, but quite a few. It just kind of looks like they've been cut off of garments, which is totally fine. I'm just a little not wanting to be poked by that. I've had my tetanus shot, but I can't remember. That was just a, eh, I'm probably still good. <laughs> anyway, so that's what I have picked up um, from the thrift shop and Goodwill. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about these cards they're so cute i love those i had to get out a um storage container just for all of the cards i found recently so i probably have filled that up with these now <laughs> but yeah that's what i picked up i hope you are doing well i never know how to sign off on my video sometimes but make sure you are checking out my shorts here on YouTube sometimes if I'm not feeling up to doing like a big video I'll just do a, a short and those are kind of fun to make too but yeah I will see you in the next video bye mm -hmm.